Hi guys. Okay, so today I am just showing you how I created my newest addition to my Etsy shop, which is a personalized ring. This one I'm making in support of Black Lives Matter movement. And so if you want to know more about that, check out my social media feeds where I've got some videos explaining my motivation behind everybody wearing a ring. It's a cool idea for a conversation starter. Black lives really do matter to me. And so here I am, I'm, I've, as you saw, I just stamped on the words using a metal hammer. Now I'm using my rawhide hammer and the triplet to form the ring shape. You can't really hit this too hard um, because the rawhide doesn't leave marks, it's perfect. It just gets it into a nice circular shape. My nine-year-old son is recording this, so excuse any, uh, yeah, like that, little special effects which he liked to add for me today. Um, as you can see, my dust catcher definitely is catching my hands here, so I'm going to need to get that fixed. We've been trying to work on a design for this. Uh, but piercing through just really carefully, very upright as you, as you pierce through the metal. I'm just here creating a, a perfect join. Okay, so of carefully removing the same amount from each side, doing it in the same way so that when the ring comes together, It'll do so hopefully in a perfect way. My blade got a little stuck there, but luckily it didn't break. So we've got a perfect space here for a join, as you can see. So I'm gonna flux that and then push it together until I've got a nice tight join area. Get a little bit of flux. This is super easy flux. Uh, so it doesn't take much heat to get it to the melting point. Pop that either on top of the join or underneath. If you've got something flat that you're putting it on, it does work to put it underneath as well. As you can see here, the flux is gone all nice and white. I'm using two torches just for a bit of speed, really. because I'm hoping to make a few of these. And so there it is, the join it's nicely come together there i'm going to now oxidize this ring so that the letters are black um, because i want my letters to be black and once that's oxidized i'll as you can see I've, i'm just brushing back so that you get the silver on the top and the lettering will remain black for you you could have it silver or black like this picture shows Thanks for watching.